Digibytes, the future of learning. Plagiarism. Perhaps you don't know exactly what plagiarism is or why it matters. And you definitely want to avoid plagiarizing in your assignments and submissions. We've got a get out of jail free card for you. By the end of this learning, you will be able to outline what plagiarism is and why it matters, take the correct steps to avoid plagiarizing and discuss the consequences of plagiarizing. Let's ensure that when you declare that your work is not plagiarized, you know what that means and you've taken proactive steps to avoid plagiarism. Get it right with these key learning points. What is plagiarism? Why is plagiarism important, especially in context of studies through a university? Which steps can be taken to avoid plagiarism? How is plagiarism checked? And what are the consequences of plagiarism? So what is plagiarism? Dr. Laura Skelly of USB defines plagiarism most simply as academic theft. It is the act of stealing words and ideas from someone else or even reusing your own words and ideas from previously submitted work of your own. Self-plagiarism comes down to essentially robbing yourself. Why is plagiarism important, especially in context of your studies through the University of Stellenbosch, USB or USB Ed? Students are required to draw on various sources to gain knowledge and insights about their field of study. And there are so many great scholars, thought leaders and experts out there to help mould our thinking. But whilst we can consume or consult other sources, we have to work with the material ourselves and apply the resources to our own work. This is essentially the job of a student, as Isaac Newton and Google Scholar coins it, standing on the shoulders of giants. The highest form of learning is the synthesis of information gained from others to inform our own arguments and thinking. So you can use it, you can apply it, you can refer to it, you just can't steal it and pretend it's yours. Besides, the quality of your written work improves exponentially when you can show that you have read widely and consulted the best minds in the industry. Don't be afraid to stand on the shoulders of giants. That's your job as a student. In our next point, we provide you with some steps you can take to avoid plagiarism. Step one is simple and foolproof. Don't ever copy and paste anything. We know it's tempting because it's right there and Control c and Control v just seem so easy but hands off those triggers. When you copy and paste text into your written work, you may think you'll get back to it to fix it, but then life happens and... Step 2. Extract and Tag Keep impeccable records of every bit of information you source. Think about it like Christmas presents. When you wrap a present, you have to tag it, right? You may have 50 presents, all the same shape and size and wrapped and they all look the same. So wrap and tag. With referencing, extract and tag immediately. Step 3. Know your referencing system. The University of Stellenbosch, USB and USB Ed use the APA or American Psychological Association system of referencing. This system requires students to do in-text referencing and end-of-text referencing. In-text referencing is done by quoting the author or authors and year of the reference in the text, showing where you obtained that content from. End-of-text referencing is done in a reference list which is placed at the end of your written work in alphabetical order. To find out more about the APA referencing system, please work through the Digibyte learning called Referencing or consult the referencing guide available with this learning. Step 4. Step carefully with paraphrasing and quoting. Paraphrasing is the term assigned to expressing the ideas from elsewhere in your own words. Quoting is using the words of another author, you know, quote, end quote. Firstly, try not to quote unless you absolutely have to. It's better to explain the author's work in your own words, so paraphrasing. Lazy paraphrasing is when you just change a word or two and voila, you have now paraphrased. No, you have now plagiarized. 
Oh, when you quote or paraphrase, ensure that you reference not only the author or authors in year, but the page number of the document it stems from. Now that you know how to step right and avoid plagiarism, let's look at how plagiarism is checked. Your written work can be checked online with a plagiarism algorithm program like Turnitin. Turnitin is a program that matches your words to the words of others and then provides a percentage rating that measures how similar your words are to the words of others that are matched to it. So what percentage is okay and what's not okay? There is no right percentage. In an ideal world, when you've taken every right step you can, your plagiarism percentage should be almost zero. You can use the Turnitin score to double check that you've put quotation marks around your direct quotes, that you paraphrased what you needed to paraphrase and always referenced when you needed to reference. There's a right way and a wrong way to do things. If you followed the wrong way and you're caught plagiarizing, the consequences of plagiarism are you may have to redo your written work, you could fail the subject, you could face serious disciplinary action that would stand between you and obtaining your qualification or degree. How can you apply this learning right now to improve your performance? It's simple. Do things the right way. Don't get caught stealing the thoughts or ideas of others. Step right and avoid plagiarism. This Digivite learning is available as a downloadable resource along with the University of Stellenbosch's plagiarism policy. If you enjoyed this Digibyte, you might also enjoy our Digibyte on referencing. Good referencing is the right way to go to avoid plagiarism. Did you enjoy this Digibyte learning on plagiarism? Let us know by liking, awarding or sharing. Digibytes. Discover and learn digitally.